All right, guys, so this is the last installment of this standard. I know that this standard is pretty difficult because it's determining strengths and weaknesses. So I ask you guys for strengths and weaknesses in the labs every time, and I always get the results or answers that are like, our data would be inaccurate, or it wouldn't be the right account. And so that's why I always tell you to tr actually try and provide results because of this standard on the interim. So if you're actually telling me what could go wrong, it's going to get you more out of it. So starting with 11. Which of the following is a weakness in student one's argument concerning the identity of gas Z? So that's our first key term. So let's go here. Chemical X is NH4NO3. That's ammonium nitrate, in case you guys didn't know that. And gas Z is N2. When NH4NO3 reacts with an acid, its atoms are released, blah, 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 which is the main component of Earth's atmosphere. When N2 is forced to go, or is forced through pure H2O, it forms HNO3 and H2 gas. H2 is also colorless, which is why it was not detected, because H2 reacts readily, blah, 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 highly flammable. So, um, let's look at the purpose first here. Our students performed experiments to determine the identity of an unknown chemical, which they called chemical X. So, this one says that chemical X is ammonium nitrate, and gas Z is N2, so a side product of this. So, let's figure this out. Bubbling N2 through H2O will produce an acidic solution only at high pressures. Well, it says high pressure right here, so we'll leave that in there. H2 is also an odorless and colorless gas. Um, maybe they do talk about that. Since Earth's atmosphere is mostly N2, any gas produced in the reaction will be um, impossible to detect, and diatomic gases are typically inert. Well, we don't, learn, we don't talk about that at all. That requires chemistry knowledge, so we can go ahead and cross off 11. So between these two, which ones would be a weakness? So we detect it not because of the atmosphere, so like we can't detect it in the atmosphere, which is something that they mentioned, so we're going to cross off C. And H2 is also an odorless and colorless gas. So that doesn't really tell us much about gas Z because it just says it's a byproduct. So therefore, our answer is going to be A. So A is the answer here that uses key terms and directly talks about the gas Z identity, right? So this is between A and C are the only ones that talk about N2, right? And just because the atmosphere has N2 in it, that doesn't mean that you can't detect it in a lab. All right, which of the following is a significant weakness of student four's viewpoint? Student four, gas Z is CO2 for the reasons discussed by student three. So, um, which reacts to produce, which is gas C. CO2 is usually inert, but when bubbled through H2O, it forms carbonic acid. Okay, now this person, however, chemical X is a medical oxide, metal, not medical, metal oxide, contains an acidic carboxyl group in its chemical structure, which when reacted with a metal oxide, releases CO2. Okay, CO2 is a highly reactive gas, the chemical structure of C2H4O2 is not explained. It says it has an acidic carboxyl group in its chemical structure. So I can go ahead and cross off B because that's just a lie. It's absolutely explained. ZNO has a greater molecular mass than MgO. Let's see. ZNO or MgO. Um, we don't talk about molecular mass here, so we can cross that off. Um, no chemical reaction is offered for how the metal oxides are converted. So, release is CO2. So, all of these have chemical reactions, right? But student four does not. So, D is a weakness. There's no proof. So, a chemical reaction is their proof. There's no proof. All right. A key strength. So, why is this good of student three's hypothesis? is that a balanced chemical reaction is given for converting CO2 into H2, um, C, C, two H's, two H's, three O's, three O's, yep. 
So there's a balanced chemical reaction. That's something that actually does happen. N2 is a common gas that is easily produced. Um, we don't talk about N2 with this scientist, so that's a no. Earth's atmosphere contains both N2 and CO2. Again, we don't talk about that. Um, inert gases tend to condense into solids at low concentrations. So carbonic acid, typically inert. We don't talk about any of those. So we never mention solids, so that means your answer is A. All right, 14. A uh, student two's argument contains which of the following weaknesses? Not all metal oxides are white powders. So, student two. Is N2, chemical X is impossible, blah, blah, blah. More co complex amine salt. We don't talk about white powder at all. So we're gonna go ahead and nix that. We also don't talk about metal oxides. Compounds containing nitrate and nitrite ions have similar chemical properties. Um, we'll leave that in there because that's what he's talking about, or she. No justification is given why gas Z is N2. Mm, yeah, that's a great one. We don't talk about that at all, so I'm going to cross off B. And negatively charged ions are soluble in water. Do we talk about this dissolving in water at all? Nope, don't even mention it. So the weakness is C. We don't, like, if you're not saying why that's your reason, then you have a bad reason. All right, last one. One of the strengths of Scientist One's argument is that it suggests a means of testing the hypothesis. Let's see if it does that. Um, let's see. Mm -hmm. When um, N2 is forced through pure H2O to high pressure, it, so that's a way to test it. That reaction is a way to test it. There you go. So maybe that one. We'll leave that. The proposed reaction mechanism produces multiple odorless, colorless gases. That's not going to be a strength because if they're odorless and colorless, that's going to be a bad thing because then we can't tell them. NaHCO3 is an ionic compound. That's just a fact. That's not really a strength of the argument. And then both NH2 and N2 are diatomic gases. Again, just a fact. Not really a strength of the argument. This is a fact. So this one is really, really chemistry heavy, by the way. All right, so that means that our answer to 15 is A. And that's that.